Margaret Peterson Haddix, the author of the book, The Remarkables, and I'll be reading the first chapter. Marin stared at the towering wall of cardboard boxes that ran down the middle of her family's new living room. It was like something out of a fairy tale. It seemed like every time she or dad moved or unpacked one box, another one grew in its place. Dad reached over to give her ponytail a playful tug. Here's the game plan, kiddo, he said. We do two more boxes, then we take a break. A well-deserved break. But we told Mom, Marin began. A sudden, furious cry sounded from upstairs. Dad threw his arms up in the air as if someone had scored a touchdown. Yes, Dad said. He did a little victory dance. Dad was a gym teacher. He was good at victory dances. Baby Owen thinks it's break time now. I'll get him, Marin volunteered, scrambling up and jumping over a lampshade and a long sheet of bubble wrap that hung half in, half out of the box in front of her. You just want to leave me to deal with more pillows? Why do you have all these pillows? Dad asked, staring down in mock dismay at the box he just opened on the floor before him. Marin giggled and took the stairs two at a time, almost smacking into the wall. She wasn't used to a staircase that bent in the middle yet. Their house back in Illinois had had stairs that just went straight up and down. Sometimes when mom and dad weren't looking, she and Kenner and Ashlyn used to sit on a blanket on the top step and shove off and then... Stop thinking about Kenner and Ashlyn, Marin told herself. She took a turn the corner into her baby brother's room. His cries were louder now. It was amazing that such a tiny creature could make so much noise. Shh, shh, Marin murmured, just like she'd heard mom and dad do. I'm here, Owen. Did you think we'd left you all alone? That word, alone, stuck in her throat a little. She took three steps to her brother's crib, which was the only furniture in the room so far. The pieces of the changing table lay on the floor, waiting for her and dad to put it together. Owen's cries echoed off bare walls. Are you hungry? Marin asked, peeking over the crib railing. Or just mad? Or do you have a dirty diaper? Owen's cries turned into more of a snuffling sound as he peered up at her. Tears trembled in his eyelashes. Marin still wasn't used to having a baby brother. She'd had 11 years to get used to being an only child and only eight weeks to get used to being a big sister. And Owen was so tiny and helpless. His miniature hands swiped the air as if he hadn't figured out yet how they worked. His face was red with crying and his lips quivered, but his dark eyes tracked Marin's movements as she reached down to slide her hand under the back of his play ball t-shirt and lift him up. Mom and dad said Owen looked and acted almost exactly like Marin had when she'd been his age. Don't be like me, Marin whispered. Be better. Make mom and dad proud. And that's the end of chapter one. If you would like to see more, check out the book Remarkables.